Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So in the last three videos, I talked about the new PCF controls that are now available in Dynamics 365 customer service. And you can even use some of those PCF controls with other tables as well. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the enhanced case experience, obviously part of Dynamics 365 customer service. Now, that means that there's actually two new enhanced case forms that you can utilize. And you'll also see all the controls that I mentioned in my previous videos are on those case forms. Let's go ahead and check it right out. So the enhanced case experience in Dynamics 365 customer service is actually the biggest part of that is that there's two new forms that have been added to Dynamics 365 customer service. And in order to use those forms to really take advantage of that new enhanced case experience, you'll need to go here to the customer service admin center. Then you're going to go to case settings and you can see here the enhanced case experience is listed up top here so i'm going to click on manage and from here i'm going to be able to enable both that full case form and that quick case form as well so you can see normally the first time you go here these are turned off i can then go ahead and turn them on and then you can also see that there's a configure button here when i click on that that's going to load that form inside of the make.powerapps.com experience, right? And then we can edit those forms, add things, remove things, etc. Now, it is important to understand that both of these forms, the full case form and the quick case form, they are both main type of forms. So the quick case form is not going to load when an agent is trying to create a case from the quick create button that we have in Dynamics 365. So that's really important to understand. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that, look, you can actually choose the form that you wanna use as a quick case form. However, that actually needs to be a main type of form. Now, I'm gonna show you in a second what this is going to look like, right? How this is going to behave in the application. But before I do that, there's a couple of other things that I want you to see uh, because turning this form on is not the only thing that you need to do here. But anyways, once you turn them on, you can just go ahead and save that and that will then turn on those forms. Now, again, some other things that we need to do here let me just go ahead and click here on configure full for the full case form. And obviously you can do the same here for the other form, the quick case form as well. So, okay. So you want to go to form settings and you see here that these forms are only enabled for specific security roles. So if you scroll down, you can see CSR manager, customer service, app access, right? So you just gotta make sure either your end users have these roles or you can just make this accessible to everyone. And then another thing that you need to do here, I'm gonna go back here to my customer service workspace and I want to edit that customer service workspace app. So I'm going to open up the designer and then I'm going to expand the case table and I'm going to look at my case forms. And then obviously you got to make sure that those case forms are added to the app. So you can see that over here, right? Both of them have been added to the app. If you wanted to do that, you can just right click on the, on the form and then you can just say add and that will actually add it to the app. So that's really all you have to do. Make sure you save and then you publish, of course, your changes. But that's really all that you need to do in order to get those forms 
into that app after you have enabled that. So now let's take a look inside the application and how that's going to look. So here we are in the customer service workspace and you can see that I'm actually chatting with uh, Angel here about an issue that he's having with his HVAC. So you can see here I have the ability to create a new case and I'm also wanting to show you this quick create form, right? So if I click here on case, this is not loading that new enhanced form, right? Because this is a quick create form and the new enhanced quick case form is, like I said earlier, a full form. So keep that in mind. Now, what it will do is as soon as I click here on new case, it will now load that quick case form, as you can see here in the side pane. A couple of things that you can do here. I'm actually going to say um, HVAC is not cooling. I'm going to enter a couple of things here. This is my HVAC products. Here we go. I can put a description in, but this description field, we can also now just put in some images if that's something that we wanted to do as well, because we have that rich formatting now, right? Which you can see here on the bottom. So let's just say I want to put an image in there. Here we go. Easy enough. And you can see I have my origin is coming from the web. It already pre-filled that in for me and my priority is normal. And I have my new status for this case. So if you looked at any of my previous videos, I've kind of showed you how you can get those colors, right? And you can see here, this little priority also has these different colors, high priority, low, normal, etc. And again, the case status also has those. Then the other thing I can do is I can very quickly, let me actually put this in here as well, very quickly add some notes here, even though the case has not been saved yet. So that's going to save us some time. I'm going to say notes about this case. And then we also have the ability to add some attachments from here. And again, it doesn't matter that I didn't save my case yet. And on top of that, I can even add multiple attachments. So if I click this add attachments, I'm just going to say, let's just add these four things. I'm going to open them and look at that. Even though I have not yet saved my case, I can do all of those things. Now, the other thing that I feel is really nice is that I can actually from here, I can obviously save and route and I can save and resolve and open and all that kind of stuff. But the other thing that I can do from here is I can actually switch to the full case form. Again, even though this case has not even been saved yet. So let me show you that. I'm going to click on that. You saw that I have not saved my case yet. And look at that. I am not losing any of that data. Normally we would see that, right? It, it would basically lose that data if I would try to do something with that before I save that case. So that is not the case, pun intended, in this situation, right? So very, very nice. Now, if I'm going to go ahead and save that, you'll notice a couple of other things. Now, obviously I cannot go back, right, to that a quick case form. I can't do that. I can only go to the enhanced case form. Now, before I save this now, look what you see here on the side. This is my customer 360 view, right? This is now loading that customer record directly here on the side. And if this customer is a, as you can see here, contact, we're getting the details for that contact. If I'm changing this to a datum, let's see here, which is an account record, now I'm getting the details for that account. So it's really looking to see which field is or which type of record is populated here in that customer field. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save now. Now before I do that, note that we don't have different tabs on the top, right? As soon as I hit save, you're gonna see that we're gonna have some tabs showing up now. So let me just give it a second here. Right, so our attachments just moved. You saw that earlier sitting on that front page. That's now on the side here, right? All of my attachments that you saw earlier 
are now showing as uploaded. I can go ahead and download them. I can also change this view and look at that. Now I can just go ahead and start working on that. You can also see here that that note now has been attached to this case. So that makes it a lot easier as well, right? Not having to first wait for that save, then create that note. We can now all do that beforehand. And as you can see here, um, I can now just go ahead and start to work on my case. One more thing I wanted to mention, I just showed you that customer details pane. If you want to configure or customize uh, the form that loads in here, either the account or the contact form for that, those uh, are actually called account form for customer card. And for the contact, this is called contact form for customer card. So you will see those uh, below the account table and the contact table. And that's where you can go ahead and edit those. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.